Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video here today and another episode of my Formula 2 2019 career mode here today. And we are here for round number two of the season at Azerbaijan for the feature race. If you guys missed round one at Bahrain for both the feature and the sprint race, it'll be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen and also down below in the description. But today we are here at Baku for round two and this weekend we are running 105% AI difficulty in qualifying and 106 in the race. Thanks to your uh, feedback and comments, you know, in terms of increasing AI difficulty and also this week I'm going to try and take some of your feedback on board in terms of short shifting and possibly trying to let the, the revs run out a little bit longer but we are here for qualifying at Baku and once again we're going for the one shot qualifying session here today so let's hit the racetrack and let's see exactly how our lap was in qualifying straight away as the five lights go out we cross the start finish and make our way down towards turn one 320 k's almost breaking just before the curb appears on the right hand side we managed to get turn one pretty cautiously I, I would have liked to have gone a bit later on the brakes a bit earlier on the throttle turn two is where i lost a little bit of time i was a bit too cautious on entry and i didn't quite get the best exit either um a little bit too cautious again there we are still you know relatively within range although we are currently last so we need to improve and find a bit of time as we now go down towards turn three breaking just before the 100 meter board again i broke a bit too early here i was kind of breaking and releasing the brake on and off a little bit and then turn four this one was better this is when the lap started to come together a little bit for me now and we are still in last place so we need to improve here as we now make our way into turns five and six a little left right chicane combo here and a big of a lock up on the entry we just about managed to navigate the corner and have no dramas as we get a nice clean exit and we make our way off of last place and up into p18 so at least we're slowly progressing as we now make our way into the hairpin here very tricky kind of double apex right important to get a good exit as we go into the castle section throwing the car in one downshift Full commitment. I probably could have turned a little bit earlier. I, I understood a little bit mid corner. I was very lucky to not hit the wall. And now just exiting the castle section. Now using all the track on the right hand side, trying to get the traction down. And now making our way along this kind of long curved back straight. Currently in P14. Let's see if we can try and improve upon that as we now make our way into this downhill kind of off camber left, very tricky corner. A million different lines you can take through here. I like to normally take a bit more curb than I did in that particular case. As uh, we're still in P14. As we now make our way into the last break zone of the lap. And taking a bit of an early apex actually worked out quite nicely for us. We get a nice clean exit. And we're currently sitting in 13th. Make that 14th now as someone overtakes us. Using 5th gear all the way through the chicane. I shift to 6th gear a little bit early. I normally like to have run that 5th gear a little bit longer. And that could have given me P13. But we're now pretty much dragging ourselves to the line with DRS open now. And that is going to be a lap of back. The question is, will it be P14? And will there be any last minute improvements? And it is going to be 14th, I believe. As I believe Nick DeVries got pole position in the ART and it is 14th for us in qualifying here at Baku for the feature race which is not ideal but we can still fight from here and you can see that the Vries getting P1 ahead of so just at the camera and then we've got uh, Luca Giotto in third ahead of Latifi so overall an okay qualifying considering we qualified on pole in the last race that is not what I wanted having said that the race is on Sunday and that's where most of the points are scored. So we're going to try and do our best. The target is to get a top 8 finish and try and stop the, re the reverse race uh, uh, the, the, the reverse sprint race from pole position but other than that let's try and have a good race and uh, score a few world championship points here for round number two at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix Welcome back to Baku we're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling vibrant capital which for only the third time plays host to Formula 2 this is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Davide, is there anything we should be looking for in today's race? The teams are all very competitive at the moment, so are we about to witness a push from anyone in particular? Hi Alex, the team will have been studying everyone else out there very carefully. So I think we are in for a very interesting event today. I can't wait to see how this race unfolds. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Nick De Vries starts from pole position, and it's Sergio Sete Camera in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Giotto, Latifi, Jack Aitken, and King, Delatraz, Hubert, Joe, Mick Schumacher, Galeo, Matsushita, Dorian Boccalacci, and Correa, Boschon, Eilot, Mazepin, and Giuliano Alesi, Calderon, Mahavir Raghunathan starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
Right, so here we are then on the grid for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, starting from 14th place on the grid and quite a way down compared to the first race in Bahrain, where we were on pole position for the feature race. Other than that, though, we are going to try and get ourselves into the points. The target, really, is to get into, into the top eight, which is where we'll have a better grid position for the sprint race. So we want to try and get ourselves up there as soon as possible. And in terms of strategy, I'm going to take a gamble here today and do the inverted strategy. So we are going to start the race on mediums and then move on to the super softs for the final part of the race. Hopefully, we we can have a late charge through the field on the quicker tyres and uh, no rain expected here today. So a very straightforward race. And like I said, the target is to get at least eighth place here today and score a couple of points and place ourselves quite nicely for the sprint race. Having said that, we're going to get racing here at Baku and hopefully it's a good race. So let's get racing. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Right, here we go then. Building up the revs, getting ready for the five red lights here. Lights out and away we go. Very long five lights, but we do get away eventually. Trying to hold on to the back end there as we make our way towards turn one. Quite late on the brakes, just trying to hold the position here. We've got Boschen trying to make a move on the right-hand side of us. Let's see if we can try and hold on to P14, if possible, into turn two. A bit of contact with Matsuchita and Boschen on the entry. That's going to allow Ralph Boschen to get a better exit. We've got Mazepin looking for a move. As uh, so we don't quite really max out the revs, which is something I need to improve upon. Mazepin coming across it. I'm going to go late on the brakes, though, around the outside of the Russian, and we just about retake P15. So there we go. Nice recovery overtake there on the Russian. But let's see if we can try and hang on to the pace of these guys. So far, it seems like everybody is running the super softs. No one's running the mediums, just me. So we'll have that benefit at the end of the race that no one else will have. But... For now, we're going to have to suffer with a slower tyre. Hopefully, we can hang on with some DRS assistance. That would help us out massively. So far, we're doing a good job. We're you know, staying with the pack. Let's try and prolong this as long as we can as we go through the cost section for the first time. Oh, that was so close. Jeez, held my breath there for a second. The understeer on this tyre compared to the super soft is unreal. Nice clean exit there. That's what we want. Right, let's try and set into this race. Massive pin behind us. Drop back a little bit so we're not actually under any pressure. So let's focus on trying to stand the back of Ralph Boschen. And the minute the car's working quite nicely, actually. I'm quite happy on this tarp. It's kind of like from Friday practice when I was kind of hitting a bit of a groove on this medium tarp. And I was going faster and faster every single lap. Tire wear seems quite high because my rears are already starting to go, even that's in the medium. So I can't even imagine the super softs, what they're going to be like. So that's going to be a good thing for us. We'll have a chance to maybe make some progress once the super softs start to fade a bit. So, so far, so good. We're hanging in there. We're keeping up with the pace, which is what we want. As uh, Callum Eilot is now the next car behind us, Mazepin dropping back, so Eilot is now behind us, which is good. He made a good recovery in the sprint race in Bahrain, and he did show a bit more pace, so hopefully he can do that here today. But so far, so good, we're hanging in there. Okay, DRS enabled, and we are within DRS range, which is perfect. I don't think I'm ever going to get a run on anybody on the, these tyres through here, but the, the pit straight is going to be what I'm looking at. I think we could pass Boshong on this lap. Let's try and stay close to him. A little bit of oversteer there, but we're doing a good job. I think we are going to be close enough to get DRS on Boschung. And I know a little trick through the chicane to get a little bit closer to the car in front. We can just keep it tidy through here. Lots of different lines you can take through that left-hander. That one worked quite well for us. Just got to get it good through here. This is a corner I struggle with a lot in F1. Not so much in F2. There we go. Nice. Clean exit. We're closer than we were last lap. So what I do through here, people shift to sixth gear. I keep it in fifth. And we get momentum. You can see how much we visibly gain on Boschung. Now we shift to sixth on the exit, and you can see we get a bit of a, a bit of a head start on top speed, and uh, we're going to get ourselves within range. Boschung does have the RS on the car in front, but he is dropping back a little bit. So we're going to try and put under some pressure here into turn one. We're good on the brakes. I'm going to try it. Down the inside. It's a late one. Leaving some room, but we do make the move. And job done. Fantastic lunge. On the medium tyres as we get past Ralph Boschung. He's now going to have the RS on us though on this second straight. Important to get a good exit, which we don't really get. So here comes Boschung. He's going to try and re-overtake us as we cover the inside down towards turn three. How late can we break? Releasing the brake a little bit there on corner entry. Trying to get the power down, but still side by side. Locking up, running it a bit wide on purpose to go the long way round. Had the short shift there. Boschung still hanging on as we're still side by side here going into this little left-right chicane. I'm going to run in a bit deep on purpose just to stop him from going side by side. And there we go. Job done. We're up to P14. Let's try and catch up on the cars in front. 
Someone seems to be going a little bit slow through the castle section, so let's try and close in. As they're seemingly losing time, I wonder if someone's got wing damage. There you can see my current tire wet. The rear is always wear out a little bit more on the fronts around here. As Eyelot makes a move, that's good to see. So we're both pushing here, although Bostring's hanging on, it seems. This is good for us to pull away out of the RS range from the cars behind. And uh, hopefully closing the cars in front a little bit, make some progress. We need a couple of strong laps here. This might be the AI's last lap on the Super Soft, so this lap has to be good. Okay, seemingly nobody, nobody pits yet, which is good for us. It means we'll get one more lap to close in, which we are doing. Pace is good. Uh, if we match our personal best, although we do lose four tenths in the final sector due to a lack of slip strip in DRS, but we was on for a personal best, so good pace. Let's keep it that way. Okay, now cars are starting to pit in. Good couple laps from us in the cleaner. We used them to really try and close up. Now we've got to keep pushing, though. We can't stop now. These laps are important, especially for you know against those who are staying up one more lap. Yep, Callum Arlott pits in. But like I said, these laps are important to us to close in on the cars in front, especially those who are staying out one more lap on their super soft tyres. Okay, the remaining cars box in, so we will inherit the race lead for a couple of laps anyway. Yep, we will be on the super softs. Hopefully we can use those fresh supers to really make a difference. But for now, we've still got a few more laps left on these, so let's try and keep the pace up. I'm going to stay out for one more lap. We're currently on for a personal best. I'm probably going to lose it now because even though I'm up, I believe I've got DRS in this final sector, so we're going to lose the personal best. But the pace is good. We're still hanging on. One more lap. Let's try and keep the level up. A little bit hot there. We just about got it slowed down. Yeah, we're going to pit this lap. I haven't actually tested the pit entry to see what the speed is. I'm going to guess it's 60, but we'll find out very shortly either way. It's been a good first stint. We've got more work to do than this final stint. This is when the overtakes are going to happen, hopefully, on the super soft tyre. But here we go. Going to be relatively cautious. We have got to get a slow under 60, so extra slow entry. But there we go. Job done. And that is the first stint finished. Now we're going to go to the super soft tyres. Come on, boys. Six point two, and then we've got a flurry of cars here. This is what we're looking at for the points. All these guys here, and we should rejoin just behind Matsushita, which is where we were before. So we haven't really lost our gain time. We're about the same distance. Difference is now we have the benefit of the super soft. So it's going to be a little bit of a sprint now, five lap sprint. Let's see what we can do. Let's try and get after these guys and score a few points. I'm not sure if we'll get P8, but if we can score a few points, I'll be happy. Straight to work with a purple middle sector. And we're already closing in on Matsushita here, which is good. I think we actually might have a chance of points. If all of our overtakes are perfectly timed, then we can be smooth with this and not get caught up in too many battles. I should be on the back of Matsushita on the next lap if it all goes well. So head down, purple middle sector, like I said, and it should be a purple final sector as well, just to confirm it over the line. No, not quite. Never mind the end of the lap, we're on the back of them now, halfway through the lap. Absolutely flying here, purple sector one, we're nearly two seconds up on our personal best, so we are going to pick up the extra point for the fastest lap, if we finish in the points, which hopefully we will. Here we are then, on the back of Matsushita, I'm going to try and get a bit of a double overtake here if I can. First of all, let's get the run through this little left right chicane, we're going to keep it in fifth gear, that seems to work. You'll see the benefit by keeping it in fifth. We get the momentum. There we go. We're going to get underneath Matsushita. And we're going to get a double run as we get the momentum on Boccalacci. And we are quite good on the brakes into turn one. Even better on these tyres. Let's see if we can have a little look. We are quite far back and Boccalacci's got good straight line speed. Not quite close enough. Fast as that though. After P13. Three whole laps to go still which means plenty of opportunities to make a move happen. Still no retirements in this Grand Prix though. Quite surprising. I am running 5-6 wings as well, so this is why we might be a little bit down on straight line speed, but we should get past Boccalacci here soon. I wonder if I could have a look here maybe, if I get a better exit through here. Not quite, but maybe on the brakes. Down the inside of Boccalacci. 
Got to leave some room. But we do make the move. There we go. Job done. Up to P12. Another position for us. Shungalo up next. And then the other premier from Schumacher. And that's what's going to get us into the point. Picking up some oversteer there. But that's okay. Let's keep our head down. We're going to go for the same strategy again. So we're a little bit further back this time. Which means it will work out even more better for us. As we carry fifth gear through the chicane. We then hit sixth. We're going to get a nice bit of momentum on Sean Galal here. We are closer than we were to Bocolacci in the last lap, so we should be able to get a run here. Even though we're barely gaining on the straight, this should be enough to put the driver under pressure here. Under braking. On the brakes, down the inside. It's a late one, but we make it stick. AI are much better on the brakes now with a lot of fuel load. Not as, uh, I'd say, vulnerable as before at the start of the race. But P11, we're close to the points. We're nearly there. Mick Schumacher up next. Mick goes defensive. That's going to be the invitation I need to go around the outside and make the move on the German. There we go. Job done. Very easy overtake. Whoever's at the front of this train, I think it's, it might be Mahavir Raganathan. I might be wrong. Or it might be Jordan King. I think it's an MP car. I can't quite tell. But whoever it is, they're very slow. As we start to put some pressure on now, we're into the points. Antoine Schubert up next. Also, our fastest lap will now account for a world championship point. All we've got to do is get past two cars on this last lap of the race. And we'll start the sprint race from pole. I think it's Schubert and Guang Yuzhu, if I had to guess. Easy does it through there. Oh, that was close to the wall. I was trying to straight line that exit as much as I possibly could. For the purposes of traction. We're a little bit far back here from Hubert. I don't know if I'll be able to get the move. But we're going to try our best. We're going to close that gap as much as we can. This is going to have to be a mighty lunge on the brakes if you want to get this move. Here we go. Going on to the last lap of the race now. Can we get past I'm trying to Hubert? Yellow flag. That's going to stop us from making any kind of move. And it's Mick Schumacher. Oh no, in front of us. I think it's Jack Aitken. Yeah, Jack Aitken blows up. And there you go. Suddenly, P8 has become a lot more achievable now. As we only have to get past Hubert to make a move. Right then, so we're now into green flag territory. So we could try and get past the Frenchman. Here we go through the castle section. Just trying to close the gap to Hubert. Going to get a nice clean run and a nice clean exit out of the castle section. Just got to keep it tidy. If we get the run through that final chicane, we should be okay. Let's just not make any mistakes, keep it tidy. And we should be able to nab this 8th place. There we go, nice traction. No oversteer, this should do it. Let's get the run. 6th gear, early shift, I had to go for it. Nick DeVries wins. Now we wait for the DRS as we gain. We have to pull out the slipstream, which isn't ideal. Oh my god, we might not make it. This is going to be close. I think Hubert is going to hold on. He is. And we haven't done it. Oh no. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part for me. Victory for ART then after a quality performance. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? I think this race was won thanks to the terror management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they want today. An amazing race today and a very well-deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today.
Right, so looking at the final race results then here, this race, and Nick De Vries wins for ART, and Sergio Sesta Camera gets second ahead of Luca Giotto, who gets third, and that is your podium here today. Lou Delatraz missing out by three tenths in the car lane ahead of Jordan King, who was the cork in the bottle, really, in that massive train of cars for MP Motorsport ahead of Latifi, Zhu, Hubert, and then we come home in P9, and we do pick up the extra point, which is a small consolation for missing out on the reverse grid pole, and then Mick Schumacher brings home the final point for Prima ahead of Sean Goulart, his teammate, and then we've got Matt Sachita, Bocolacci, Boshung, Eilop, Calderon, Alesi, Mahi Veroganathan, and Mazepin running out the, the run as here today with Aitken, the overtime of the Grand Prix. In terms of what that race means, though, for the standings, we lose the lead in the championship to Nick De Vries, who takes first place and is eight points clear. And also further down, Aitken drops to seventh place with that retirement as multiple cars overtake him. And Mick Schumacher drops out of the top ten. And in terms of the team standings, we are down to third place as ART and Dams overtake us, unfortunately. But nothing we can do as uh, so far all the points are to my name. And if my teammate doesn't step up, then we can't do much about that. But guys, that is going to be it for the race here at Baku. And uh, we now move on to the sprint race, which will be part two of this race weekend. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video very soon, guys. But until then... It's goodbye from me, and uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in my next episode very soon.